Yes, sir. You know what time it is. It is time for the Kevin Sutton Show and the crew about to get downright funky, baby. But we're going to be all in the water today, slipping and sliding, baby. My style. This is my Wrestling Wednesdays. It's going to be wakeboard day, baby. Wakeboard day. Oh, my goodness. I am excited. So, mm-hmm. you can hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. All in the username Kevin Sutton Show. And you can get in the action, you chump. And guys, don't forget to download the podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, even Google Play Music. You can catch up on all the episodes you may have missed. Just type in Kevin Sutton Show. And for you iPhone and Google Play users, just make sure you leave a rating, a review, and definitely don't forget to subscribe. Five stars, baby. Do that, do that, do that, do that, do that. And today in the studios, I got with me some great people. But I'm going to start off with the first one, dog. And the first one is my man, Dr. Mo- hey, Phil. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey. Nick was like, oh, I see Nick wasn't looking. <laughs> oh, it's a Friday show. <laughs> Good. Today is Friday, baby. My words of wisdom for you all are that for every minute that you're angry, you lose 60 seconds of happiness. And then there's a thing about if you sneeze, what? you lose a second off your life. No, that's not true. Who's told you that lie? Who told you that lie? Bill Nye! Bill Nye? I don't know, man. When I sneeze a lot, my heart does feel kind of funny. They said somebody blew out their esophagus the other day. What? Gross. From sneezing? From sneezing, trying to hold a sneeze in. I held a fart in one time, uh, and it had the same type of equation. Mm. Your head blew like got- a balloon? <laughs> like a cartoon? <laughs> I got my man Rich Rogers always slipping and sliding on through. What's up, Kevin? How you it's doing? It's summertime man? coming, yeah. baby. It, yeah. This is the Surf Factor, baby. Surf Factor. That's Surfing a new and show. Surfing wakeboarding, yeah. That's a new show. Surf Factor is coming, man. There's going to be all the competitions. I know we got a lot of things that are going to go down for the summer. There's going to be plenty of surf and skate. You, know, you got the Waterman's again. Challenge going on this weekend at the International Palms in Cocoa Beach. So it's a three-day uh, event. So I'll probably oh, head back over I there on there Sunday. Last, I think it was last year. Did I you? It used one. to be the Holiday Inn. It's the, yeah, that yeah. was an awesome event. Yeah. And they give away some great products. They always do it, surfing <laughs> competition. And then I got... My man, Justin Nick, yeah, uh, uh, where uh, the ladies uh, at, where uh. the ladies at, ah, uh. no, <laughs> Nick, come on, man. I love you, man, <laughs> what's Meyer's up, Meyer's gone, she's gone right now, we fired her, and, okay, nah, <laughs> We have no authority fire, over You can't Myra. fire the boss. Yeah. That didn't happen. That, okay. that, that, that just sounds She's wrong. just not here. That sounds like we're in charge. That's, that's not the case. Yeah. No. I think she thinks everything is okay as long as you're here because you won't let it go crazy. So we're going to stay out of trouble. Mm-hmm. But how you been doing, man? Come on, uh, man. Hanging out. LeBron James. 51-8-8. Eight eight. Oh, my goodness. That was one of the greatest playoff performances I've ever seen. You were, in, you were happy they, for They it? lost, yeah. I mean, like, I... I know they lost, but I don't know if I've seen a more dominant start-to-finish performance. 51 points, 8 rebounds, 8 assists, exactly. and it felt so easy and almost went under the radar Radar, how great he was. People are always on LeBron's back. It doesn't matter what he does, but it no. is known that the first game he is kind of lackadaisical. He sits back and kind of figures out what's... It's a feel-out game. Yeah, it's, he's feeling everybody if out. If that was a feel-out game, I can't wait. I, man, it's going to be crazy. It's, it's going to be crazy. It's, I don't know. I don't know. I... I didn't get to watch that one. I was at work, but I did watch all the highlight reels, and then I, I watched it on the Tebow. Yo, but I fast forward. The internet went nuts on J.R. Smith. Uh, he deserved it, dude. What in the hell? <laughs> Yo, the. but that's that's J.R. Smith. The only way that you can explain the play is it's like, well, I mean, that's Jr. That's that he's the biggest trick or treat player in the NBA. All right, Kevin, you know what ha- you know what happened though, right? Okay, so who so who was shooting the free throw? George Hill. Okay, George Hill was shooting a free throw. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. There was four seconds left. Eighty percent free throw shooter, by the way. He yeah. misses the second shot. J.R. Smith gets the rebound right under the basket. The score's tied. Yeah, it's right under the basket. He could just lay it up, a, yeah. shoot it, do whatever he wants. This dude runs halfway across the court, stands there to run out the and time. LeBron is like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> and he uh, and he passes. Okay, I did he see passes that. it back to Hill. And, I didn't see the, that, but I was time, off the internet. And the time so. runs out. Yeah, time, I saw that. So there's an infamous meme of LeBron doing the, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> like, 
I did see that, but I didn't know the internet went crazy over it because I was not on the internet. And Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant did the charge too, so the refs blew that call as well. No, it was a block. No. Yeah. No. Absolutely. No. no. All right, well, Kevin didn't watch the game. I saw the best parts. I love <laughs> you Tebow. did actually. You saved yourself Tebow. a lot of time. <laughs> and so, spoiler alert: Golden <laughs> State wins so, by ten in overtime. Yeah. <laughs> and so I, I put a, a a message out on Facebook to leave us a voice message. And we got a bunch of them today, and I, could, I know I sent People you get like angry. five emails. Yeah. Um. So I guess just whenever we come back from break, let's just play one of them. We'll hit play it one up. of them just so we can uh, get them all out of the way. Bad producers note here. Did you listen to these? I listened to a couple of them. They're not only two of them are more than forty seconds. The other ones are like ten seconds. Okay. So, yeah, we're gonna hear it. Mm-hmm. You're gonna let it go. Mm-hmm. Then we're gonna get back. We're gonna talk a little bit of basketball. You want to hear one now? Yeah, oh, let's, do you think, go let's go one? for it. Do you think we need one more? Okay, play not, the play the play the longest one. I have not, well, I've <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna just pick one. I have not heard any of these. If my bosses are listening, all right, tell me that happens. <laughs> tell me the name because this one's from you. this one's from Manny. Manny, okay, that's okay, that's cl- all right, but it's clean. Hi, this is Manny from uh, Orlando. What's up, Manny? I like to talk about the NBA Finals. Cool. And I'm picking Golden State, but I think that LeBron James will play till the seventh game. He'll come short to be the GOAT. I also think that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is the best basketball player in history. He has the most points, one in high school, one in college, one in the champ, one in the pros. Also, he knows Bruce Lee. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's a good argument right there. Yeah. I think that's the best argument I've ever heard. That footprint that does he put LeBron on, James know Bruce Lee? But no. Nope. Do you remember the footprint that he put on Bruce Lee? It was like literally the whole size of his entire chest. Yeah, Bruce Lee was only like 130 <laughs> pounds. Yeah. It was like absolutely hilarious. Yeah. I, I remember that. Enter the dragon. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Yeah. So we got a bunch of voicemails today. Yeah. So because last they night's hurt. game, last night's game, I guess you can say it broke the internet. Is that what people say now? Is that is they, they broke yeah, the internet? Yeah, the internet's broken a lot. Yeah. And I saw a picture. I, I actually uh, sent it to Jerry. Um, he had a Facebook comment. But uh, did this happen before with JR in New York? Yes. Yes. Did he I mean, forget, he yes, forgot we're, we're the time? JR, JR has admitted I didn't know the score or the time in the game. Yo, is this, is this dude, is he stoned? Like, J, while he's playing? J, JR Smith, nah, like, alone, JR Smith giveth you know and he taketh goes. away. That's what JR Smith does. Give it. He gets the rebound on that play. Great basketball play. And then makes dumb basketball play. That's what Jr. does. So is this going to set the tone for the series now? Like, uh, there's a case to be made that that the team is now emotionally broken, and that Golden State beats the hell out of them for the next three games, and we have a very, very you quick think, NBA final. You think this is going to be a That's sweep? A no, I don't. Okay. You can't sweep because the dude on the Cavaliers just scored 51 freaking points, and he's probably going to do that every game. Yeah, you I, I, you just can't go to sleep on LeBron like that. That ain't gonna happen. I hope they not, they ain't no, they ain't no sweeping. No. It can't, can't be no sweeping. Mm-mm. But we're going to hit it up. And mm-hmm. we got some people in the studio. Some great people. They do a little bit of something, something. They're twins. You. Twins. Mm-hmm. I love saying they twins, but <laughs> only when it's women. And twins. Mm-hmm. Now you're <laughs> just two guys. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> so, to the ladies, they're uh-huh. like, they twins. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> they're excited. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> so stay right there. We're going to get into some wakeboarding. And what's going on in the Orlando scene? You know we are the hub of wakeboarding for the world. You're just a spoke, everyone else. Stay there. Oh, greasy, 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 man. I, I, I'm feeling good, man. I, I, my youth is coming back. I got these twin boys on here, and and I'm feeling I'm feeling like I got to go and ride, man. Yeah, I got up. to get on the water. You. Oh, my goodness. We were just talking about wakeboarding during this commercial break. Mm, mm, mm. My love, my passion. Oh, man. Well, guys, you can, leave us a, you can leave us a voice message on our website without even dialing a phone number. Just head to kevinsunshow.com, and on the right side of the screen, click on the speak pipe button. Keep it clean because we will play it on the air. You can ask us any questions or just give us a comment. But whatever you do, just head to kevinsunshow.com. Dude, Hi, this is Brandon from Orlando, and I think Cleveland's going to win for six of seven games. 
<clears throat> mm. uh, they only need four, Bryn. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, that would be overachieving. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, we'll see. To be honest, I have no idea, but um, Golden State got that lead right now. That's all I know. Uh, it's it's crazy, man. It's like, you just gotta you just gotta give it up. You gotta no. give it up. Uh-huh. And 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 Cleveland for them to even be here right now, that is an achievement. A miracle. That is an achievement that everybody said that wasn't gonna happen. Um, especially once the all the, the drafts and the, the you know they're laying out people off. It just it just got horrible over there. Mm-hmm. Horrible. Mm-hmm. So I did not think. Well, I was I was rooting for them to get there regardless because I love LeBron James. Yeah. But. Uh, deep down inside, it was looking kind of scary, you know, when they got rid of the, mm-hmm. <laughs> the love in the building. Heart, he's uh-huh. still there. He, just... uh-huh. he ain't there the same. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't the same no more, man. It ain't the same. It's a different team, man. It's it's not the playoff team from last year. No, it, li- are, it literally is not. Yeah, <laughs> it, like completely. It is a whole nother setup, and I don't know if that's, <laughs> you know, people talk about that, Nick, where LeBron's, possibly leaving after this year those rumors keep on swinging yeah. around i mean stephen a smith hasn't really dubbed much on it which normally he is the gossip guru of uh everybody mm-hmm. <laughs> so mm-hmm. regardless if i like him or not that is where he can if he says it it's normally in line as, not in predictions of who wins but the gossip yeah. the gossip because he was spot on when uh when uh miami heat broke up mm. And he had that inside scoobity doobity. So, hey, what are you going to do? Mm-hmm. So, you got any moment in LeBron James? No, man, let's get into our guests. Wakeboarding, wakeboarding. Rich Rogers. Go Rich, ahead. Yeah, go ahead. you're an amazing guy. Uh, Rich actually told me about you guys a little bit ago. I think it was about a month ago. Mm-hmm. About, about a month ago. Two weeks ago. Yeah, so. Yeah, so Rich, intro our people, man. Well, we got Brandon and Josh Harris here. They're actually, you guys are from Georgia, right? Yeah, I was born in Atlanta, but okay, we we lived yeah. in Orlando. For like You're twins, Orlando. you know that. Yep. He <laughs> said I was born, in, like, yeah, yeah. as in he was born <laughs> somewhere else, yeah, yeah, yeah. like y'all were crossing the state yeah. line. I mean, we were on the border. So <laughs> who was, born, who was born here. first? You always hear that about it, twins. Yeah, it was me. I Josh, look, I look a little bit younger, but, but <laughs> everyone's like, oh, no, yeah. identical twins. Yeah. So yeah. okay. And I saw a story about them on News 13. I'm like, that'd be good guys to bring into the station. Yeah. I mean, so, it's a, um, it's, thanks for having yeah, us. Yeah, no this problem. Is awesome. It's yeah. Great. I mean, wakeboarding is one of those uh, unknown but very popular in its own circle sports. Right, right. So it takes, it takes people to actually have a little bit. And the funniest thing is that Orlando is the hub, as I was saying before we went to commercial break. Mm-hmm. Orlando is actually the, the key destination for people all around the world to come in – compete and train for wakeboarding Mm -hmm. and i would say about 70 percent of the population has no clue what wakeboarding is yeah so before we go any deeper into this you guys want to explain because you've had to explain to your aunts uncles grandmas cousins nieces nephews like explain (laughs) (laughs) like yeah we're professional wakeboard what's that (laughs) is that a Uh, video game (laughs) yeah so so i'll let you guys hit that real quick yeah most people confuse it but um it's traditionally written behind the boat Um, but me and my brother basically like picked up on a different form of it, which is cable wakeboarding. And there's a bunch of like floating obstacles such as ramps and rails and it's just super fun. So yeah. And cable has been around like not as long as boat and it's like something new. So there's a bunch of cables like internationally getting built everywhere. So the numbers are getting bigger and there's so many more contests and stuff, which is awesome. Yeah. We used to have a sponsor, Wake Scout, and I guess they always, yeah, that, kinda... that's a place I guess you go to to get a list of all the wakeboard parks and, um, mm-hmm. so, yeah, they yeah. kind of fell off. I mean, a lot, you know, a lot of things, mm-hmm. a lot of things have started in wakeboarding and like I was telling you guys about wakeworld.com, which right. is, has been around since I started wakeboarding actually. Right. Um, geez, that's almost, Ooh, almost 13 yep. years ago. Yep. So uh, yeah. wakeboard was around. Yep. And with wakeboarding, it's like any action sport. Like it has its like ups and downs, and sometimes like companies pull out. But for the most part, it's who stays in and who's gonna be like pushing the sport to like show it off to the rest of the world because it's just a sport that hasn't been showcased enough, and there needs to be more people that like see what it really is because there's so it's too much to explain. There's so much involved in it. There was a big jump uh, when wakeboarding was actually being pushed by Correct Craft. Um, mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. uh, CEO Bill Yargin, and he was pushing for it to go into the Olympics, right. uh, which was, I think, by far is great because it did mm-hmm. get booted out of the X Games. Yeah. Um. So, um, we've we've tried to push as a whole mm-hmm. uh, to to make the sport, but it's very costly. Yeah. You know why so, it was pushed yeah. out of the X Games? It cost too much for well, there's there's not a lot of lakes. The X Games there weren't enough lakes to actually support. Um, like say normally when you have the X Games, there's a huge hub where everybody will have all these different competitions, skateboarding, okay, you know, okay. uh, you know, the, uh, you know, BMX, motocross, all in one section. Yeah. But for it to be wakeboarding, you have to go somewhere where there's a lake, and most of the lakes that were within um, close relation to the X Games, where they got a cheaper uh, bill for the location, mm-hmm. was actually an hour to two hours to three hours away. Mm. So getting the crowd to transfer every time is where they were losing. Uh, and this is when the idea of cable started coming in, like winches where you could actually pull people on, on small uh, scale waterways instead of being like, you need a whole lake for a boat to drive around and do circles. You can do a winch, which would basically pull you from like a, you know, 400 feet out and yeah, then you can exactly. put an obstacle course in the, inside that. So that's changed the game. So that's what, it, a lot. that's what it came. And, that's yeah. what you see is OWC. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. a, it's a big telephone poles in the water. And, <laughs> and now, now cable systems, like there's something called a 2.0, which brings you back and forth, but you yeah. can, you can Sessitech, go tech. You got yeah. 2.0. So, so now there's Sessa tech and there's like Konix and they're becoming way more portable and easier to bring around. So, and more affordable, mm-hmm. very more affordable. And, uh, in Feast, they like basically just set up a Konix system, and it, it's like, in it's in a river. Like, it's yeah. in in downtown, it's super fun. So does it? Do you can you adjust the speed on that? Yeah, uh, exactly. Like, yeah. Okay. So we go to a place that's in Florida, and we have like two systems for ourselves and the rest of the team we ride for. Uh-huh. And basically, there's just a big remote, and you can set it from speeds from one to ten. Ten yeah. is way too fast, so we'll run it like seven, eight. Which is normally between uh, eighteen to twenty five miles per hour. Yeah. Which yeah. is it it takes that to get someone over the size of three hundred pounds, you need to be all the way up. Yeah. Um, but a so little, I would need I would need a yeah, I would need you, to go to a 50, all the way up. Yeah. Fifty. <laughs> but once you plane on the water, now you're you know, it's science then. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You're actually gliding across the water so right. it's no resistance by weight. Right. But to pull you out of the water yeah. is where the problem's at. Yeah, so that's a be- one of the better things about cable also is, like, when you're learning how to ride, like, instead of being pulled forward, like, from a boat, you get pulled up because the cable's up in the air. And, like, what he was talking about with a winch, that's, like, something that people, like, more, like... More skill set. Yeah, more skill set <laughs> will buy because they can just go to the streets and just see, a like, big sketchy rail and just be like oh there's a little bit of water at the end of that i'll just try yeah retention ponds yep. like yep yeah. got it like two uh-huh. inches of water and people <laughs> just sending it so yeah we have we have boys in uh competing in x games real awake and they're like they're literally just set up like a pool next to a rail and just send yeah. it. yeah so when you guys go when you guys use the cable is it easier to do tricks with the cable well yeah so what a lot of boat riders will do is they'll come to the cable just because they they kind of get bored or they just wanted to try the cable out and it's a completely different sport and like learning on the cable in my opinion like at first it's harder it's easier to get up it's harder to learn tricks because there's like cable attention there's a bunch of like small things you have to like figure out so at first it's super like it's kind of weird but once you figure out how the like rope tension works up in the air and stuff, it's super easy and so, it's really fun. So uh, during the break, we were kind of talking about what uh, you guys did before you guys were skaters too. What mm-hmm. got you guys into into wakeboarding? Yeah, well, um, ever since I was a kid, I just like would watch action sports and skateboarding was the first one I really picked up on with my brother. And who, who was better? Josh, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. So ah. he 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 could like kick flip every time. I used to learn how to kick flip, but I broke my leg in two places. No. <laughs> so yeah, I have three screws in there now. No. It's stronger was that was than, that stronger that than my left one? Skateboarding? That was from bombing hills on a longboard and power sliding. Oh. And yeah, I was going down, and I guess a rock hit one of my wheels. And I you lost had a helmet friction. on. Uh, yeah. Awesome. But, my um my art my leg just got crunched snapped and, it. yeah yeah and I was like no more going over twenty five miles per hour for me on the skateboard but I got my kick flip back every now and then so <laughs> yeah be careful on that one <laughs> for man. sure man bombing sure. hills is very dangerous yes so what years were you skateboarding in Atlanta um well in Atlanta I was super young I didn't really pick it up as a kid there but when I came to Orlando okay. there's Van Skate Park at uh Festival Bay, Festival Bay. what was Festival Bay Artagon now but 
we always, nothing now. Yeah, my <laughs> mom always would like not want us to go there, so that probably made our motivation to want to go there like <laughs> even you higher. You boys need to stay away yeah. from that place. So right, yeah, mom, we're yeah. just going to the movies. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Well, so. actually, the uh, my friend bought all the ramps from uh, Vans. Yeah, so the really? Hurt ramp and the uh, Mini Spine is. Oh. It's out there uh, by Holopaw, which is well, by St. Cloud. Well, that's really good to know. The, yeah. spine, the spine's my favorite. Yeah, I can hook you guys up. Yeah. You guys can go ride it if you want. Yeah, that sounds yeah. good to Just me. Just about um, right past uh, St. Cloud. So. Yep. It was but a big I'm, project to tear that I'm thing getting down. ready to oh, go yeah. out to Atlanta right now to skate. So that's I'm what's be up. At Fourth Ward, and we're going to oh, yeah. uh, uh, different parks. Kennesaw's the place to go. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's, that's the place awesome. to go. Is that all concrete out there? Yeah, it, yeah, it's free. It's up. open. It's really good. Yeah, those are the best. And there's Brook Run, and um, so we're gonna go up to a couple others. That's really so. fun, man. I'm also gonna be passing Atlanta on my way to North Carolina or South Carolina for this contest. So. Yeah, Charleston is the place to go there. Oh yeah, because that's a brand new park. Oh, I haven't seen that's that one. That's one of the best on the East Sounds Coast. Sounds pretty fun. And of course, they're building a one opens tomorrow officially in St. Petersburg. That's awesome. So yeah, hmm. cool, man. I have to stop by. When we when we come back, let's. Let's find out uh, what got you guys into the actual competition of it. Yeah, man. Sounds good. Like and, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, baby. You heard it right there. Kevin Sutton Show all in the action, and we got pro wakeboarders in the building. The twins, baby. Stay right there. Hey, what's up? This is Kevin from Orlando. I definitely think the Cavs are going to win in seven games. Oh, and Kev, we got to hit the range, man. Is that the gun range? Yes. Okay, I oh, didn't have my headphones. chicken range? Free range? I didn't, chicken, I don't I didn't know. have my headphones Drawing on. I, range, I, came golf range. In, I came in Maybe. Like, late. I'm guessing guns because okay. Kevin likes to shoot stuff. I like my guns. Mm-hmm. Ah, so before we go into anything, hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube, all under the username Kevin Sutton Show, and we'll definitely do a nice push for this here interview that we got with these boys in here in that building, man. Because I mean, when you get when you get pro wakeboarders in the building, you, it's different. It's different. So you got to show the love. You got to show the love. Show so we're gonna do a little something special for these guys, man. Especially because they're twins. You know, it's like two pros at once, right? I like that. Yeah. Now, mm-hmm. before we went to break, uh, I asked you guys. Um, what actually got you guys started in doing competitive uh-huh. wakeboarding? So, I don't know. Like, after my junior year of high school, like, we played for a soccer team. And at the same time with, like, playing soccer, we were kind of, like, we figured out that there's, like, this wakeboard pass at the local cable park we go to, and it's half off on Wednesdays. So every Wednesday we'd, like, either leave practice early or we like, find a way to just say we have to, like, we can't go to practice just so we could ride there. <laughs> and then after that, like, escalated, it, like, we figured out we're spending more money just, like, paying every day without our gear than we could just, like, buy our oh, awards and, like... Get a year pass. Yeah, get a year pass, and everything just comes out cheaper. So. How did your parents take it? Like, where, where were they at well, on that? Yeah, they were just kind of, like, they see... We went through a bunch of different hobbies. So they're just like, all right, yeah, it keeps, <laughs> them, keeps oh, them act- it keeps At them least active. you're not doing crack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're just like, it keeps them active, so let's let them do it. And, um, yeah, after that, we just kind of uh, started to learn to wakeboard, like, I guess w- more better. And then we had this, like, desire to go pro from there, and we figured out we'd have to compete and stuff just to, like, get our names out there and come out with video parts and just – different ways to get exposed to that industry now have you come across any twins i i can't recall in my yeah, last yeah. there's yeah. My, there's we have boys from uh argentina yeah. they just bought it they have their own cable park now yeah no that that was uh, how are they they uh, are they're they? probably a year or two younger than we are yeah see these are these, are, these are young punks man yeah. these young yeah. punks i don't i don't know these guys yeah. i don't know any of these guys uh so <laughs> seeing you guys it's very rare that there are two twins uh, doing male or female doing wakeboarding, uh, it's such a small sport. You know, like football. There's twins all the time. Basketball, twins all the time. Yeah. Uh, seeing uh, you guys actually is like a spark, a new hope. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you guys feel that pressure at all? That, it's like it's more like it's more like it makes me want to like go harder and like do do more things that haven't been done before. You know, like just stuff that gets people really hyped about the sport. Yeah. Um, now there's a downside to wakeboarding. Uh, there was a big, big issue a couple years ago uh, that they 
uh, took the women's tour from the the pro tour uh, and they dropped them out. Uh, So women get it a lot. That sounds bad. So like women have a tougher time in the wakeboarding industry uh, to succeed, Mm -hmm. uh, especially with the finances and sponsors willing to put money into that. Uh, th- definitely your sponsors as Ronix mm-hmm. as uh, Ronix, uh, depending on who says it, uh, yeah. has actually gone really big on making women some of their head right. um, leaders of their company, which is really cool seeing that. Do they put on you guys this new rebirth of like wakeboarding and the the twin yeah. image? Well, they've been like helping us, helping our image a bunch. Like they post us on their social media and stuff, and like it's been super like well because since they post stuff like other people will kind of reach out from there and um we get what better known just from stuff like that and Got you. Uh, yeah it's yeah and, um so i just, i basically like remember my first contest like it was yesterday and we we're competing in like the division after beginner and like like I'm not gonna lie, I got beat by like two girls, and I was like, <laughs> "How did oh, it yeah, feel?" Because this is novice. This is so like this is so three, there's beginner, yeah. then there's novice, and the, and the one strange thing a lot of people don't realize is in wakeboarding, uh, it's it's kind of a, a strange thing. It doesn't really break down in gender a lot of times. Uh-huh. It can go into skill set, and once a girl is good enough uh, as an athlete, you know she can do girls juniors then she can get into girls division but right. there's not really an advance there's normally not enough competitors right. so yeah, most so. girls will jump in and start competing against mm-hmm. the guys yeah i mean um, with with any girl like any girl in any industry like they kind of get like screwed over in half a way but like with wakeboarding they're kind of they're kind of pushing actually to like put them in one contest like put women and men in one contest it's just the only flaw is there isn't enough women in the sport to like compete against all the men no. So there, there is one girl on our team that could probably kick most of the dudes t- like asses in a con- or c- stuff in a contest. So like, <laughs> it's okay, you yeah. can say that. It's really So but, what's her but, name, man? Yeah. Like you're, you're uh, gonna... Julia Rick. She's, okay, uh, she's pretty insane. She just and does. Jamie. And Jamie Lopina. Uh, Jamie has like tons of rail style. Julia just sends it on the kickers and air tricks. She's insane and. I could just tell that she would beat me in an air trick or kicker contest just because she's like been in the sport for a while and she's super yeah, it's, good. It's, so. it's it's crazy how many new names like I was running through uh, Wake World mm-hmm. and checking out the interview and stuff like that that they had with you guys. Um, WakeWorld dot com is, is definitely a great uh, in depth uh, interview with you guys. Um, but going through it and seeing so many different new names it was just like where did the regular people go um but wakeboarding has changed it's not like the nba or nfl like a person stays in for a long period of time and their name still generates a large movement um you know five to ten years or so depending on what sport but wakeboarding i'm talking like it hasn't been like where i was really entrenched in it going to the events all the time uh, I would say less than four years. Mm-hmm. So for it to change so much, you know, like great writers, Sean Murray, Dallas Friday, uh, Rusty Malinowski, uh, Reed Hansen. Uh, you got people like, uh, you know, Julian Cohen, which, which was one by far one of the m- most explosive uh, cable writers yeah, I've seen. Insane. And uh, Daniel Grant, he was just a little kid when I first met him at the Red Bull uh, Wake opening. Yeah. Um, so like to see all these like names kind of just dissipate and, all my guys here know I'm horrible with names, but when it comes to wakeboarding and wake skating, that, that's not my issue. Is, uh, <laughs> is Taylor McCullough still in Orlando? Yeah, yeah, she's here. yeah. Okay. Taylor still is on. Uh, geez, Lake Holden. Yep, Holden. So, so she's still repping it up okay. and riding hard, and sure. you know, doing it for the girls. So I got yeah. a question for for pretty much all you guys, because because with me, uh, no pun intended, I'm kind of a fish out of water when it comes to water sports <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> got it. Um, so where do you guys Man. actually see the sport? <laughs> Uh, in the uh, for the future, I start with Kevin. Like, what do you what do you see wakeboarding <laughs> in the future? Well, the biggest thing once I once I got into wakeboarding was diversity, and uh, mm-hmm. I was the only black guy competing. Say that one I, more time. I was the only black guy competing in wakeboarding. Say it with uh, your chest. <laughs> the only black man wakeboarding <laughs> every competition for like three four years. Uh-huh. Uh, then I ran into a guy uh, that was from Tampa. Uh, uh-huh. And, and uh, he was a younger kid that I kind of like took under my wing and like me and him started riding together and stuff like that. But wakeboarding is essentially, you know, you need an $80,000 boat, maybe about ten, four to $5,000 worth of equipment. 
and then between gas mm-hmm. and coaches, I mean, the average coach charges about a hundred to two hundred dollars an hour. Mm-hmm. Uh, so when you look at that, th- that excludes about ninety seven percent of the population in America. Right. Um, yeah. And that doesn't include your gas. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, a boat will take up one hundred and fifty dollars worth of gas in an hour or so. Yeah. Um, yeah. But two to three hours, it's gone. Exactly. Um, so when you do that type of sport and the places that you can do it, you either live on a lake property or you have a friend that lives on a yeah. lake property. It's very limited. And so when the sport started changing towards cable, and uh, there used to just be one cable park here in Central Florida, and then they, there was two, then it became three. Uh, and uh, once that happened in Correct Craft, uh, st- stopped focusing on – Let's just make more boats, more boats. They were like, look, this wake skating, wakeboarding thing uh, and cable could take take off. And uh, Bill Yargin, uh, definitely a, a, a futuristic thinker, mm-hmm. said, let's take some of our investments and spread it out and start opening up cable parks all over the country. And once that happened, it allowed for a kid not to be uh, the owner or most most professional wakeboarders, their parents are doctors, lawyers or uh, politicians. Okay. Um, Buddy Dyer, uh, sons Trey Dyer was uh, into wake skating. I mean, it was just a you know wake skating and wakeboarding. It was a thing of the upper class, kind of like lacrosse. Most people yeah. don't get into it um, because it's not at every school. Yeah. Once the sport changed that, and wakeboarding allowed to be on cable, you could go there literally for fifteen twenty bucks, yeah. ride on the cable park. And learn a few tricks. A year pass might cost you about four hundred dollars for a whole oh, year, um, and then into that allows you to do so much. And then they create the winch, which oh. was like you know a lawnmower with a a, a rope on the yeah. back of it, mm-hmm. and you could r- ride it in, and you can ride in a canal in the back of somebody's house. So it it yeah. allowed so many people to be a part of. Rusty Malinowski, one of the top pro wakeboarders, he doesn't come from a rich family at all. Yeah. Uh, and this guy basically was wakeboarding off a pontoon boat when he learned. Uh, so well, it opened the sport up like yeah. crazy. And I'm super thankful about the cables because we wouldn't be like like where we are right now without like like going to the cable every single day back to back. You know? Yeah. So yeah, same with like all the cable parks being in every part of like the states and like other countries. Like it gives us the opportunity to like travel to different parts of the world and just explore and just meet new people. So. It's yeah. like one of my favorite things. That's awesome. I, and, and that's the part that I love um, because the sport is changing. I, m- I remember a big thing uh, with when OWC and then Ski Rickson were the only two that were open mm-hmm. uh, in Tampa. And their their course actually goes the opposite way. They bought right. their motor from from the UK. Mm-hmm. So one goes clockway, clockwise and the other one goes counterclockwise, which right. is a huge difference. Yeah. Uh, and people used to go switching back and forth to each mm-hmm. park yeah. to be able to train. Uh, for going out of the country. So now right. there's things everywhere. So Guys, stay right yeah. there. When we come back, uh, we're going to put you on the spot. We're going to ask you a bunch of random ass On questions. the spot. That sounds good. Yeah, right. yeah sounds we already good. put him on the spot with, like, how are you changing the sport <laughs> for the history of America? Did you yeah. have a dream yeah. that one day little white boys and little <laughs> white girls <laughs> will ride on? No. <laughs> stay right there, people. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, you can ask your mom about it. Ask your daddy. Ask your grandma. Be like, hey, what's wakeboarding? I guarantee you, you're not going to get an answer unless you have a pro wakeboarder or pro wakeboarders in your family. Times two. Okay. Times two. Put it uh-huh. on two times like a Twix. Mm-hmm. His ain't got a Twix. <laughs> or, or, you know, the life and right factory. Which one of y'all shut down first? <laughs> you know? So... Thank you guys for what you do. Keep on listening. ESPN always has the action for you. My man, Dr. Phil, my man, Just Nick, and Rich Rogers, and our girl, Myra, holding everything down to the Crizzo, because Faithy is doing her confirmation right now. So oh. uh, that's going to be a big ceremony tomorrow. Yeah, huge, huge day yeah. for her. Oh. Yeah, so it's a, there's a lot of stuff going on, man. Like, this whole month has been crazy, from Lincoln's birthday, my birth or my birthday, yeah. Lincoln's birthday, Faith's graduation, uh-huh. Faith's graduation party. I DJed the... 
the off school campus yeah. uh, graduation party. That was uh, Catholic mm. kids is crazy. Uh, <laughs> that song list was wow. Mm. Uh, then a lot uh, of Green Day. Yeah, no? uh, <laughs> Green Day. My, my, my <laughs> hand. <laughs> <laughs> Gucci man, Gucci man. Gucci oh, man. Yeah. okay. They, they were getting crump. They were, uh, they were like, it's not crump anymore, Dad. And I'm like, oh, okay. Y'all getting lit? They're like, <laughs> yeah. Dad, don't say oh, that. Fleek. <laughs> <laughs> it's fleek. <laughs> I'm like, what? Oh, okay. Oh. My bad. My bad. My bad. Well, guys, we got uh, Josh and Brandon in here, the Harris brothers. Uh, normally, what we do now, we have a tradition that we do when we ever have a guest in the studio. We uh, pretty much bombard them with this or that questions. It, it, it's not meant to. Um, you're not supposed to think about it. So we're we're gonna go around the room, Rich. If you want to, you can obviously chime in too. Sure. But uh, we're pretty much just gonna ask you a quick question, either this or that, and then you just say whatever you got, whatever guys come, comes to mind. Okay. Sounds good. So yeah. Kevin, you want you want to get it started? All right, all right, all right, fellas, fellas. This or that? This. Chicken. This. Or. Or watermelon. This. <laughs> wait, wait. I like chicken. Both of you guys say chicken? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. That's what I had to start with that one. They're okay. twins. They're going to say the same answer. Yeah. We'll see. I'm gonna Dog, think yeah. think alike. Dogs, we'll see. dogs we'll or cats? See. Dogs. Okay. Rich, you got something? I go with cat. No, no, no you don't answer. You got to ask the question, oh, man. Okay. Every time we play this game. <laughs> it's every time you ask the question, Rich. <laughs> yeah. Do you have, you have something or you want to skip me for now? Skip, go ahead, Nick. Skip me for now. <laughs> All right. You guys are skipping me, too. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, Apple or Android? Apple. Apple. All right. He rolled his eyes like What's bougie. What's an Android? <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's like, uh, Apple. Okay. Uh, no, no, Sony, no. Sony PlayStation or Xbox? PS4. Sony gang. Uh, PS4. Go I'm yeah. on. I just got a PS4. All we gotta right, get. Yeah. I gotta I know what y'all y'all gamer gamer tag, name. You got it. Oh, oh yeah. man, Fortnite. Uh -huh. Cars or trucks? Cars. Okay. Cars or motorcycles? Tablet or computer? I've always wanted a motorcycle. My mom like looked me in the eyes and said, "You are not get ever getting one." My dad gave me that look. Yeah, never got a yeah. bike. The only reason I agreed with her is because I try to do a bunch of like wheels. Yeah, she and probably all this saved stuff your life. Yeah. yeah, she yeah. saved your life. Richard, he just got he had one. Yeah. Red Bull or Monster? Red Bull. Red Bull. You better say Red Bull. I mean, <laughs> you're in the wrong building to say anything else, uh, right? Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Where you at, Phil? Netflix or YouTube? Ooh. Netflix. All right, hip hop or Country. Hip hop for sure. Ah, gotta love that. Uh -huh. <laughs> you guys? All right. Country's an occasion. Nikes or Adidas? Nike gang, but that's a really hard question. Because yeah. you guys are soccer players. so yeah. like Adidas for soccer, Nike for style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. Roller coasters or water rides? Mm, roller, roller coasters. coasters. Mm. All right, all right. <laughs> Football or football? Football. <laughs> uh, so you guys do the the FIFA. You guys oh, are really yeah. big oh, in that. Yeah. I just bought my PS4 like in my car with me. It's going everywhere I'm going. So. Okay, favorite soccer player. Uh, I want to know that. Well, right now. as a like playing a defender, Danny Alves is super good. But like all in all, my favorite of all times, like probably Christian Bale or something. Oh my goodness, Meyer mm. hates you guys. <laughs> Wait, say it. Say it. Wait. Yeah, Torres. Same. Uh, Fernando Torres. He oh, like, okay, Fernando Torres. That was Torres. my favorite when I was like growing up. So okay, like, got I, you. <laughs> Amazon, Meyer, she's not Amazon or eBay? Uh, eBay? eBay for sure. All right. Oh, my goodness. A bull riding or street skating? Street skating. Street skating, yeah. okay. Street skating, is, it's all about style with oh, that, yeah. man. Toilet oh. paper over or under? <laughs> what? Under. Under. Oh, this is Uber. Uber. Uh, we got this is Uber. <laughs> it's <laughs> over. We got a different one. The paper is over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, I got you. Um, On hat, forward or back? Forward. Back. You guys literally do that? Uh, I do forward. For I, the most I'll part. put it forward when it's like sunny. But yeah. Oh my goodness, that's <laughs> crazy. I put studio. it back if Josh has his hat forward. Okay. Then I'm just like he looks like. Flip flops, socks, or no socks. No socks. No socks. Oh, that, that's a black thing. I know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm hurt. If I'm it hurt. Slides. I wear socks. I can't wear flip flops with socks between my. Like, yeah, that's just weird. Oh. Rich, regular or goofy? Uh, goofy. Yeah, they're both goofy, man. Yeah. Goofy, gang. goofy, goofy gang. As and do you guys wakeboard the same yep. way as you skateboard? Uh, yeah, okay. for sure. Okay. But I rip stick left foot forward, so that's <laughs> really? yeah, right. that's really weird. Marvel or DC? Marvel, Marvel. All right. but DC because Batman. Ah, okay. I mean, oh, yeah, because I, I mean, say. Marvel is awesome, and yeah. then Batman's cool. 
Yeah, I love So he's Batman. in the league of his own. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's kind of like LeBron James and the Cavaliers. Yeah, yeah. Batman's like my idol. So All right. like Marvel Gold, over DC. Golden Batman State over or Cleveland? I'm going to say Cleveland this time. Uh, I voted Golden State last uh, year. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I, don't think I, wanted, I, uh, I wanted Rockets. Yes, so did I. Yeah, that yeah. would have been nice. Both two losers. Hey, you uh, shut your mouth. <laughs> okay, uh, chest or buns? Uh, buns. <laughs> For sure. I said it nice, Look Nick. Nick's face. I said it nice. <laughs> I said it nice. nice. He has his hand on that drop button. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's good. He's good. <laughs> I had to think about it like twice uh -huh. before I said it. <laughs> okay, uh, favorite I, game. Uh, this isn't a this or that. This is a uh, favorite game on PS is uh, PS4. Uh, guys as like? of now, it'll probably be Fortnite because it's too addicting. If you don't play it, you don't know where it's at. So try it out, and then you can talk to me. But I like FIFA, Call of Duty, and let me think. I don't know. I used to play NFL on it a little skate bit. Three is fun. Oh yeah, I skate miss three. skate, but that's not on PS4. It's on Xbox One. So gotcha. That. Well, yeah. cool guys. I mean, that, that's that's this or I like that. It. I mean, it's yeah. pretty cool. I mean, if you guys want to, you guys can hashtag it on our website if you want. To check out more from our pre our previous guest, but uh, before we got here, you guys obviously use social media, right? Yeah, for sure. Uh, where can yeah, we I find use one? You guys? Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> it's similar actually. The username I'm Brandon Harris thirteen, and uh, Josh is Josh Harris. Josh Harris thirteen. Now is that okay. is it when you is were thirteen? You started or, it. Yeah, that's, my, that's our lucky number. Born on that day too, but um, oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. You. yeah. 13 is just like my soccer number. Is that your Instagram 13. tag or is, uh, that, is yeah. that all of them? At Brandon Harris 13 for Brandon. At Josh Harris 13 for Josh. Oh, pick, man. Pick your favorite. <laughs> who, who, who this should be called left or right Twix. Yeah, Whose social right. media is, is more lit? Which one? Uh, Low key, I kind of worked hard to get more posts in at the beginning. So I have, my, mine's a little bit more followers. I'm kind of, yeah, Brandon has more followers. I'm kind of like. It's a Kardashian over I'm kinda, there. <laughs> I'm kind of my brother out over here, y'all. <laughs> give, give him that ups on the followers. You got it. So we got to we got to follow you guys and uh, help spread the love on that. Where you at, Rich? So what's when's the next big event that you guys are going to enter into? Uh, we're going to go to South Carolina in a couple weeks, okay. but the biggest event is going to be in London and in Bali, Ooh. Indonesia. There's a new world tour coming for cable contests. It's called Plastic Playgrounds. So that's like one of the good yeah, things it's going to be yeah, amazing, right? amazing yeah. event. Yeah, uh, it's definitely uh, the. The obstacles in uh, the cable park is changing huge. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, and it, they also put wakeboarding in the same uh, league as SLS, which is skateboarding. It's all in a thing called Munich Mash. So they have BMX and they have SLS, which is street league skateboarding, and then they have uh, Big Air, which is wakeboarding. And they're gonna have this thing every year with the list of invited riders. And yeah, yeah. hopefully I'll be up on there one day. Yeah, I'm headed back to X Games in Minnesota. Oh yeah, yeah, that's in, awesome. uh, July. So I went yeah. last oh, year. Sweet. And yeah, that's super sick. And then July. That'd be if wakeboarding was in the uh, X Games. Minnesota's yeah. uh -huh. a great place. Yeah, I mean, X, X Games didn't completely pull out from wakeboarding. They have a new video series called the Real Wake Series. So yeah, that's a nice, yeah. nice uh, that's, thing. That's one of the best ways to showcase wakeboarding in a way because um, it really shows like what people don't see and what kind of behind the scenes of what happens. So I'll, I have a couple friends making videos for X Games Real Wake yeah. Wakeboarding. And... They'll be killing it, so just watch out for that. It'll be the Sullivan Brothers too. had a great deal oh, yeah. with the MTV show, and then oh, it yeah. kind of like fell off. Oh, yeah. uh, where are you guys at, sponsors? Before we go, uh, Ronix Wakeboards. Thank you guys. You're number one, mom and dad, and the Dan Gannon family. Those are those are the main people awesome. I need to. You guys out. coaches? Do you guys uh, have coach? Or you, it's we, you. I coach Josh, and Josh coaches me. Wow, so, that's amazing. Yeah, and honestly, we don't even need to talk about it on the cable. We both ride together, so we just communicate telepathically. It's like if he does something better, I have to do something better than that. That's just amazing. Elevator. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely got to have you guys back. I love you. Keep up the good spirits. Keep on being good guys out there Thanks for and having showing us, the Sounds the good. world what wakeboarding is all about. Keep it up. Stay Will focused. Do. Kevin Sutton Show, all action all the time on ESPN. Stay right there. You know they got more for you. Bye. Oh, yeah.